What's going on everybody? It's Carmine from Barmine Tech, and if you've been paying attention to the internet news lately, you probably saw that Google released some new top level domains, and it's been all over Twitter and all over some big sysadmin and cybersecurity uh, subreddits and stuff like that. And if you haven't, you might not be familiar, but Google released top, new top level domain names that you could use. So you could use like .prof, .esk, .dad, but there's also .dot move and zip and a couple other ones too that relate file extension names that are already uh, used so if you're not really familiar having a website that could use dot zip as its top level domain name can be very dangerous for the fact that malicious actors can now make a website that's supposed to be a normal website they redirect you to it but it has a dot zip uh, ending and now it could also be hiding that it's automatically downloading files or something else. So this is something that's pretty serious and you're gonna to wanna to protect yourself against this. So today we're gonna to cover that in the video. We're gonna use Pi-hole, which we already set up a whole bunch of videos ago, which we'll, I'll link down below. If you don't have Pi-hole running in your house, you definitely should because we're gonna use it to actively protect against these new top level domains and hopefully help you from being victim to one of these threat actors using these new top level domains maliciously. So make sure you have Pi Holes all set up and then you can probably go through with this video and we're gonna show you how to block these new domains using Pi Hole and keep yourself safe. So Bleeping Computer put this article out the other day that new zip domains spark debate among cybersecurity experts. I'm gonna link this down below in the description. You can read through it and you can definitely just Google around and you'll be able to find more information on this all over. You can just, you can just Google, Google top domain uh, TLDs and it'll show you all the information about what's going on with this. But if we come down, we can see the new domains are .dad, .s, blah, 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 but there's also zip and move. I, I think there's a couple other ones, and there is a big concern about it, just like they say. So .zip is the same as the archive file, and move is video files. So, like I said, you might be going through sites, somebody might send you a link, and now test.zip is automatically going to bring you to a file extension, but it could also be, because it's going to recognize it as a website, but you could be downloading something right off the internet, you might not know what it is, and it could have a threat hidden in it. So this is a big issue, and today we're going to use Pi-hole to protect ourselves against it. So no more talking about it, you could read through this article and you can keep looking on it, but we're going to go through and we're going to block all these domains and any wild cards to protect ourselves with with a uh, pie hole so let's get straight to pie hole so when you come into your pie hole dashboard you're gonna get this as your first page and we're gonna come over here to this left side so I have showed you before how to configure pie hole and if you have any issues with getting it set up go back to that video and get pie hole set up and then you can come back here and get it all going but we're gonna come over to this domains option and this is where we're gonna add the new dot domains to protect ourselves against it so it's super simple to add these domains that we're going to block. So we're going to come over here and it's going to be the default and we're just going to type in zip. And we want to add the domain as a wildcard. So it's going to mean that anything before the domain will be blocked. So if somebody, let's say, uses barmindtech.zip, you're not going to be able to hit that website. It's automatically going to block it in Pi-hole and all your clients using Pi-hole in your network won't be able to get to these malicious sites. Like I said, they might not be malicious sites, but we're trying to protect ourselves against it. And as you go, you can whitelist here as you needed. And it's very simple. You can just add a whitelist if you need a certain one allowed. But we want to block them, and we're going to do a domain as wildcard. So I'm going to add this to my blacklist. We can see down here, it's now blocked. We can actually add it to a comment. So it's protect against Google's new TLD. And here we go. We have it all saved now. So here's actually the list. So I think we should do .foo, .zip, and .move. These are the other domains that they used, and they're probably not going to be as malicious, but we definitely want to get .zip and .move so there's nothing hidden in there. So I'm going to add those as well. And then I'm not going to put a comment, but we'll do it that way. And then we'll do that. And then we're going to do foo. I'm going to add a wild card. So now it's going to protect against all of those. So now after adding these new domains, if I try to go into a site, so let's say I'm going to go to hello.move, here is Pi-hole blocking it. So it's the, the browser's telling me it can't find that site, and that's because Pi-hole is actually blocking it. Yeah. So now if we come over to the queries, we can actually see when I look through the logs, here's hello.move being blocked. So we're going to do the same thing. Let's try hello.zip. 
and we can see if it refreshes it might take a second but uh here's hello.zip being blocked and uh we can't go to the site so it's just showing that it works you can also block additional uh, domains if you want to keep yourself safe there's tons of other malicious domains that are out there uh, especially if you want to do country blocking you can do it through uh, piehole as well so you could block like .ru to block russian sites and you could also do it for other foreign sites you might want either so this is a great tool to have and especially with the new top level domains that they released it's really important to protect yourself so I know this was a quicker video, but I think this is something really important that everybody should be aware of, uh, especially to protect themselves against. Uh, I do work as a SOC analyst at my company, and I haven't had an issue with this yet at work, but I definitely see this coming as an issue probably sometime in the future, probably sooner than later as well. These new domains are going to be an issue, and we're going to be actively working with them at work to prevent any new threats that might happen with them. So before I even run to an issue at work, I want to help you guys and make sure you guys stay safe because you might not have the same enterprise-based equipment that big companies have in your house. And if Pi-Hole is a simple tool that you could deploy of Docker, might as well do it and protect yourself by blocking these domains. Hopefully you don't need access to these sites. And if you do, like I said, you go whitelist them, but definitely rather be safe than sorry and protect yourself against any malicious actors that might try sneaking in some malware as a silly file and on a, as a website and now you download a huge virus and you shut down everything at your house so i hope this video was useful uh, i know it was quick and i'm working on something we have a new project coming up soon uh might be the next video i hope it is and i hope you guys subscribe and uh, keep stick around so you can see these new projects i have going on and uh thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video